Hey guys, we're gonna do some auto tuning here on this big 20 inch prop quad. Uh, it's for Pixhawk or APM. Uh, here's some specs of what it is. If you're interested, just pause it or it'll be listed down in the comments below. Uh, this is a fairly large quad, so it's not gonna work straight out of the box. That's why you have to do some PID tuning. Uh, before you get started, go ahead and open up Mission Planner and set channel 7 to auto tune. It's right above that blue box there. Click right. Here's the GoPro sitting on top of my transmitter and just take off. Once you get it up in the air you go into out hold mode. You can see right about now I click it on right there so it's out hold. Now you can switch that channel 7 switch which you have set to auto-tune it's going to start dancing the auto-tune dance it's going to go left and right it'll go left and right for about four or five minutes and then uh, then it'll start pitching forward and back for a few minutes overall it took about eight minutes uh, while you're doing this see how it's starting to drift out of there because of the pitching you can Fly it, fly it back, just move the sticks. And get it back over there where I can see it. Now, now it starts doing its thing all over again. That's the Mini M OSD on my 7 inch LCD screen there. Now you just kind of kick back and let it do its thing. Now, this one's actually going pretty smoothly. I have done this before where uh, it just flips over and pretty much just ruins your day. Uh, then you have to rebuild it and then start all over again. Before you do auto-tune, you should do a little research on the internet, see what other people's PIDs are for a similar size and equipment quad. Uh, enter those values in, and then you can start from there. Um, straight out of the box though, if you have a 400 or 500 size quadcopter, the out of the box settings are going to work for you. Uh, this one is a 820 millimeter quad. It's got 20 inch props, um, some low KV motors. So it's, it's flying pretty good but the auto-tune helps fine-tune it all in. See it pitch in there? It's about halfway through now. I really like the uh, Pixhawk and the Mini MOSD combo. Uh, as well with the PZ0420, I think that's what it's called, uh, camera. It's just a good combination. Works great. Now when it's done, it'll, it'll stop doing its dance. And it'll just fly, uh, it'll, it'll just start hovering there at hold mode. Now, if you like those settings, you can fly around with it, try it out. If you like those settings, you keep it in out hold and you keep it in auto tune. Don't touch those switches. You just come back, you land it, and then you unplug it. Now, what that does is it saves it. If you don't like those settings, while you're still flying it, you uh, you flip it out of uh, either out hold or auto tune, and that'll revert back to the original settings that you had. So just so it's clear, if you like the settings, don't touch any switches. Just come back, land it, unplug it. And I also recommend before you do all this, uh, you look at your screenshot 
uh, or take a screenshot of your PID settings uh, so that you can revert back to it because uh, if you mess up and you want to start over it makes it a lot easier so right now it's just kind of hovering out there I'm going to start bringing it back in it's almost done and sorry about the shaky cam I had earlier um, that's why I set it down there Also, don't do this the first time you fly it. Um, I had flown this earlier today for the first time and got it pretty steady um, just by adjusting the PI or the just the P on the roll and the pitch. Yeah, it's pretty rock solid there. I'm not really doing anything. It's just kind of sitting there, testing a little bit of left and right there, a little input, just to see how it responds. These 20-inch props have a pretty interesting sound. Pretty cool. Alright, now we're setting her down. Now I'm just going to sit the transmitter aside. I'm not going to hit any switches because I like the settings it gave me. And just go over and then unplug it and it saves it in there. And that's it. Thanks for watching.